Hey, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tommy here with Kicks and Bricks and we are back here with another tutorial. So today we're going to go over how to run restocks on Mech AIO, whether it's automation groups or whether it's task group automations. Some sites don't drop product as soon as they put up checkpoint. Shop Nice Kicks, Shoe Palace, those sites sometimes put up checkpoint, they wait 5 or 10 minutes, and then they drop product. The problem with that is queue is way too long by then. So if your task groups only start when when the product drops, then queue is going to be too long. You're never going to be able to check out. So you can run what's called a task group automation. So that way, as soon as checkpoint goes up, your task will preload, get in and out of queue, solve your checkpoint, and then rest on monitoring, waiting for your product to drop. And we're going to go over that now. So basically, here is your regular automation setup with Mech. Can be used on sites that drop product right away. So, for example, Kith, Concepts, Atmos, sites like that. Those sites, they end up not using Checkpoint at all. Or if they do, they drop product right away. So, you will you can monitor running SKU, Link, or keywords. Now, if you're going to use keywords, make sure they're as descriptive as possible. You don't want to do dunk low because that's going to pick up every single dunk that drops. So make sure you get with your cook group um, and make sure SKU is the safest way to go. Now, if a site does not have SKU in the link, for example, social status does not have SKU in the link, you would do SKU first and then type in the SKU that you would like to monitor. Now what that does by putting SKU ahead of the actual SKU is it activates it to search the entire page and the link along with the title and the description as well. So if there's a SKU anywhere on the page, it will pick it up and start your automations. So once you do that, you'll select basically just like creating a task, You'll select your profiles, how many tasks you want to create, your sizes, your proxies. Now your restock size amount, say a site only drops one pair, one size, size five, and you don't want your automations to keep going off for one size. So if you add two to this, then automations will not start unless the site you're monitoring drops two or more sizes, giving you a better chance. You'll then choose your capture service. You can make sure if you're connected to AYCD that this will solve your captures for you as well. Your auto stop delay is huge. I get a lot of people that ask me why their automations start and stop right away. That's because there's no time here. Now this is how long you want the task group to go before it stops. I usually run it for about 10 or 15 minutes. Your restock delay, your task mode, safe fast combo so half your tasks will be safe half of them will be fast and then safe all safe all fast and then restock mode and then your cart quantity you always want to leave at one your account pool is for sites like undefeated or dark side initiative where you can where you need accounts to check out so you would go to settings you would put your accounts in and then once you hit once you select account pool, if that site drops a product that you're monitoring, it will pull the accounts from that section. So that way you can log in. And that's basically how you set that up as far as the automations is concerned. Now for task group automation, sites like Shoe Palace, Shop Nice, you're going to want to create keyword groups. Now keyword groups are back here. Now since Shoe Palace and Shop Nice both have SKU inside their link, you don't have to put SKU before it. But if you want to do this for a site that does not, put SKU and then you can simply type in the SKU that you're monitoring for. Now simply name it, hit save, and you'll see them here. Okay. Now how you start task group automations is simple. Say we're going to run for Shoe Palace. So we'll start with Shoe Palace. We'll create it. We have to switch monitor type to inbot. We hit save. We choose our keyword group. I usually put place words here. I just put the word place word just in case. Your task proxy, your capture service, you can select AYCD. 
and then you'll create your profile your actual tasks themselves now, since Shoe Palace, normally when they drop anything good, they use Checkpoint, you're going to want to go Safe Preload because you have to get in and out of queue. Now, once you do that, you have to make sure you have a keyword group and your inbot monitor is selected. You'll see Monitor Remote. Now, that'll stay like that the entire time. If Mike pushes an update and you have to restart your bot, when you reopen it, these will still be running. So... You don't have to turn them off. You can keep them there as long as you want. And you can make them for multiple sites. Now, say, for example, Shoe Palace drops something you're monitoring in your keyword group. Your task will pick up. That checkpoint has been put up. They will preload. And then you can either solve in your inbot harvesters your capture request or send it to AYCD to solve. That way, it'll get in queue, out of queue, and then it'll rest on monitoring. And then at that point, Anytime they drop something that you're waiting for, your tasks are already done with the preload, already done in queue, and can go straight to checkout. So that's basically how you run task group automations and also how you want run regular automations. That's about it, guys. Thanks so much for stopping by. I appreciate you. Have a good day.